Hello, 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 hello. Wherever you are on this breathtaking world we call Earth, I hope you are having a tranquil day, evening, night, wherever you're located. Welcome to my 3D channel. Our topic for the day is blender specific, but as I always like to say, if you are in one of the sister 3D packages, your presence is welcome to stay. This is going to be a quick, short video. You know, most of my videos last at least 30 minutes, but it's going to be short. My topic for this day is how to import an SVG file. Now, I know Adobe, the company who made Photoshop, they have a program that deal with um, vector graphics. For me, since I'm an um, a open source person, I use Inkscape. So let me go right into it. Now you can see it. I'm using um open uh, I'm an open BS. Let's see what it's called. Yeah, I'm using OBS Studio. I have it set up for window mode, so you can't see when I open this. Um, you can't see the open windows. But I'm gonna tell you what I'm doing. I'm going to I'm gonna click my give it give it to the cube. Zap. It's gone. I'm gonna go to file import then right at the bottom is going to be something called scalar vector graphics but i'm hit enter i'm gonna to go to my picture folder i'm gonna choose u1 as you see on my screen is nothing but now if you're in blender and you want to be able to import vector scalable vector graphics you must go to edit Preferences, then you click on add ons. Then, up in that box, you type in, you just can type in vector V E C and zap the take right there. Then, you can click on that little box, put the little check there. Then, you go down and save practice preference. But from what I, I'm the version that of Venda I am, it has the vector scalable graphics already checked. We see right here up where my mouse at it say U1 SVG. But if I zoom in, I see absolutely nothing. I've seen many YouTube videos going over that. Import scalable SVG and import it. As you can see, nothing happened. I looked at another video about scalable vector graphics. It didn't have to deal with importing to Blender. And it gave me an idea how to do it. It showed me how to fix it. So I'm going to delete this. Let's jump right into uh, Inkscape. I'm going to show you what you have to do. Inkscape. Now we're in Inkscape. Let me make sure I'm in Inkscape. Alright, I made adjustments to my letter U. What you have to do is go up here to uh, Object. Or go to Path. And you have to, while you're in Inkscape, and I'm sure it's like that in other Adobe software, you have to make Object to a Path. When you look on YouTube, I don't see no video set. You just save it and that's that. No. You have to go to object to path, zap, and I will save it, file, save, and it's called my U. Okay, now let's go back into Blender and see what happened. Let me go back and switch to Blender. Switch to Blender. Let me go to Blender for my brother. Alright, so now I'm going to file, import, scalable vector graphics. And I got to choose the one called my, my, import. And there it is. You see it right there. I'm going to scale it. Now, I'm not going to show you no special features on it, on how, on how to manipulate it. I just want you to see how to get it in there. Other videos show you how to do that. But this is how you get it in there. And of course, I can go to edit mode. And you see, it has the exact same look as my scalable, my Inkscape program. Let's go back to Inkscape. Let's look at Inkscape real quick. It has my exact, this how looking Inkscape. Let's go back to Blender. Go back to Blender. When Blender and they got that exact same shape. Now, if you 
Now, if you're good with vector graphics, it may be good to make this, and you're working with text, you know, you can even put images in here, too. You can put images in here, too, but it's a downside to it. But so let me show you how to change it to um a mesh, because it's not a mesh now. It's not a true mesh in the truest sense of the word. So you go to Object. You choose Convert. Because right now it's a curve. And you just choose Mesh. And this should be a mesh. And I can prove that by going to Edit Mode. See, it got all that mesh. It got all them little, um, the vertices there. So it's a mesh now. If I highlight it, I hit E for Extrude. You see it's a mesh now. So making things in Blink, uh, Inkscape come in handy, but you see they got a bunch of the, the downside is instead of everything being in quads, it's in triangles. So that's the downside. You may have to do a you probably have to do a lot of work or use Blender's special modifiers probably to change it. But that's it, good people, for this little video on how to truly import an SUV into Blender. In an SUV program, you have to change the object to a path. Let me see. Let me make sure. You go to path. If you change your object to a path, and then you can put it in Blender. So that's it, my good people. Thanks for stopping by for this little short video. Till the next time, Blender family, 3D family, peace.